What's up everyone, Timothy here with Inspire With Drones and back with another video. I'm excited man because we have the release date of the DJI Neo. Originally it was supposed to come out around the 20th of August but now it appears to be September 5th based on the little short teaser premiere that DJI recently released today as far as that I know uh, it's currently August 29th um, 2024 so I'm excited for this. You know, we already have the uh, launch of the Hover Air X1 Pro and Pro Max uh, that is available for pre-order. And so I just have some questions for you guys because I'm curious to see what your thoughts are in terms of um, if either of you feel that, you know, getting the Neo is worth it. Uh, I have the Avada 2 already, uh, but... I'm still and granted I'm still learning this thing. I am not a master at all uh, at flying FPV. That's a whole other skill, whole other. Uh, I I was trying to do a simulator, and I tell you I was struggling, y'all. No, no cap. I was struggling just trying to uh, get the, the 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 simulator or the drone per se, the FPV drone to fly forward <laughs> in true manual mode. So. I have a lot of work to do y'all, a lot of practice, and but I love the Avada too, it's fun, it's very fun, and so I'm, I'm intrigued by this new Neo. Um, you know, I just kind of want to go over a few specs, things that shouldn't be of any surprise. Many of you probably already researched it, you already heard it from other YouTubers already in terms of uh, what what's coming with the Neo. Uh, but before I get into that, listen, if this is your first time and you are watching my channel for the first time, watching my videos for the first time, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I, uh, you know, every now and then I post something just a little different. Sometimes I go over uh, small, not really in-depth reviews of certain products and stuff, whether I have it or I don't. Um, a lot of times I will also document some of my work. I like doing that too. Um, or just documenting whatever it is that's on my mind. <laughs> but all in all, it's all to help educate. It's all to inspire. Hence the name of my channel, Inspire With Drones, because I'm just all about motivating and inspiring, inspiring others to get out there, fly, get out there, shoot, get out there and create, get out there and do what it is that's on your heart to do with the tools that you invested in. All right. So um, again, give it a like share and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Okay. So I'm just simply just going off of some notes, some things that, uh, and I must credit uh, drone DJ drone XL, uh, also, uh, free, free well gear, you know, for a lot of this information that was published previously. Okay. So this is nothing new. I didn't create it. Um, I didn't, all of a sudden just get a source and was like, aha, uh -huh, this is the, the info. No, this was already out there. So I'm just going to kind of go over some things. Um, the DJI Neo drone is basically gaining a whole lot of attention simply because of its compact size, right? It's user-friendly features and advanced capabilities. And so I want to go over some of those uh, specifications and features based on the recent leaks here. And so let's talk about its lightweight design. The DJI Neo weighs approximately 135 grams, which really makes it a very portable and suitable for travel or on the go use. Now, I can definitely see this in many hands. The reason why is because, you know, who, who wouldn't want to take a little small drone, be able to use it as a, a selfie cam, right? And you're going off and traveling somewhere, you know, I want to go to the Philippines, you know, I, that's something that, you know, uh, one day I'm currently in a relationship, my current girlfriend, like she's, she's Filipino, she's from the Philippines. And I'm like, she's showing me just video and pictures of that, the, you know, all the islands. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I really want to capture that. Um, so that's like on my, my bucket list and places I want to go and explore and, so, but I just think about the average day person who, yeah, they love traveling. Uh, they're, they're not into drones really like that, but here it is. You have this, this product that allows them to take it and just be able to launch it from the palm of their hand, capture 
uh, what whatever it is that you know is in, is before them, and to make memories without really having to like hold a phone up and do the little selfie thing with the little gimbals and the little selfie sticks and all that stuff that we are accustomed to using. I think that's a game changer. And 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 its weight, being that it's 135 grams, it's under the uh, 150 gram threshold there, which means you don't have to register it. Uh, again, this really speaks to those who are hobbyists, those who are just out there doing recreational stuff. You, you don't have to register it. Um, me, if I was to get it, I would see myself registering it, believe it or not. Why? Because I see myself possibly using it for maybe some real estate work in the future. You know, I mean, the, it's really designed to fly indoors when you think about it. So because of its compact, small size, it really makes it uh, versatile in that aspect to really be flown indoors and outdoors. Same with the Avada 2, but it is a little bigger. And I think just having a, that smaller compact size just, just just makes it even more possible to really get through certain areas that maybe you would be a little more hesitant with the Avada 2. All right. Let's talk about the uh, video aspects of it. So it shoots 4K, 4K uh, at 30 frames per second for as far as I know. Um, ultra stabilized video recording, ensuring high quality footage. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, this is really, this is not your pro consumer drum. Okay. I'm thinking they're going to have this probably in Costco, maybe even Walmart. I'm really thinking that the way DJI may market this, they're going to make it to where many can really get their hands on it in a very, uh, convenient and efficient way. Um, because of the target market that they're um, focusing on right now. And so I think 4K, 4K 30 is just enough. That's fine. Um, all right, so let's talk about its AI subject tracking features. So these features basically allow the drone to automatically follow and keep the subject in frame, which is ideal for, of course, dynamic shooting environment. So um, now we all know that the Hover, Hover X1 Pro and Pro Max do the same thing, but really specifically, it just, same thing, you just put it in the palm of your hand, turn it on, and as far as I know, it, it just takes off and it just tracks you, it just follows you. Game changer, I, I think that's that's so awesome. Um, if I'm correct, they, they were really the first ones to to do it that way. Um, actually, no, I think another company came out with something kind of like that. I don't remember the name. I thought it was a Snapchat drone or something. Anyway, I I, I basically digress on that because I, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it has quick shot modes. Uh, what else? And it has fully covered propeller guards. Now, the cool thing about the Neo, if I'm correct, that you can remove those prop guards. So, hey, if, if you're going to get that and you want to fly it without the prop guards, having that as an option... I'm sure it benefits some of those who understand the benefits of flying like that. Uh, me, if I was to get it, I don't know. I might just leave it on. I don't see the need to take it off. But it is, I think it is great that you can because what if a propeller breaks all of a sudden? You need to be able to eventually get to it and take it off So, um, and, and, and replace it and repair it. So another thing, no, no micro SD slot. That, that that's interesting i'm surprised that we don't have that on there but again you have to look at who they're market marketing this to um i can guarantee you this <laughs> and i don't have that in front of me but the neo definitely probably has more internal storage than my mavic 3 does <laughs> that is a shame man dj i i don't know why y'all did us like that man come on eight only eight gigs of internal storage <laughs> like who does that on a pro consumer drone i just i don't understand but anyway so no micro sd card um but you know now oh and the battery life uh i don't have that on here i think the battery life is anywhere between like maybe 15 16 minutes of flight time fact check me correct me if i'm wrong um, but I think that that's more than enough, especially with something so small and compact. 
So my next question basically is, hey, September 5th, this is when it's coming out. Are you going to get it? Is this something that you need or you just want it? Or is this something that you really believe that will help you uh, basically do your job more efficiently, effectively, allow you to be a little more creative uh, in, in your line of work? But whatever it is that you see yourself using this for, are you going to get it? Again, the price point, I, di I didn't go over that. The price point, and this also was um, indicated by Joan DJ and uh, Freewell Gear as well, that the price, and this is for, this is for the Flymore combo, y'all. The price is only $329. $329. Bro, you can't beat that. For a Flymore combo? I mean, if you just get the drone alone, I think the drone is just over $200, I would think. Or maybe under it, I don't know. But that's not bad. So again, I really I really see many um, taking advantage of this. And, and this may be many, many's first time purchasing their first drone. Uh, I, like it, I also like the fact that they allow you to use the actual controller um, with your phone for it so that you don't have to um, fly it FPV style if if that is um, how we're going to be able to fly it still. All in all, I think it's a great product for, um, you know, beginners, uh, those who are entering into this space for the first time, even as it's just simply a hobbyist. It's just something, you know, I want to go on a trip. I want to capture the family. I think this is who, who this is for. Um, am I going to get it? I don't know. I don't know because I already have the Avada 2. I just, I don't know. I already have the Avada 2. I mean, yeah, it, 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 it would be great to have it. I mean, at the price point, why not? Um, but I think I'm actually leaning towards the Hover, the Hover Air X1 Pro Max. And I'll tell you why. I'll put this in there. That 8K, 8K with the ability to shoot 10-bit HGL, um, I, I don't know, y'all. I'm, like, excited about that, you know, from what I saw based on the footage that has been presented by uh, Hover Air. That, that 8K footage looks nice, man. I'm all about quality, and the more quality I can get out of my tool... Uh, you know, drone, the better for me. Now, my only gripe with it, I'm saying to myself, they call it the Hover Air X1 Pro and they have the Pro Max. I'm just going to, well, number one, they're putting Pro. So regardless whether they have the Max in front of it or after it or not, you're calling it a Pro something. You have the 8K, that's great. But the Avada 2 doesn't have 8K, but we have the ability to shoot in D log M. So what I would love to see, hopefully, if I do end up purchasing the Hover Air uh, Pro Max, which is the one I I want, would they, with a firmware update, give us D log M or some log? format basically um because i like i like log and I'm, I'm working with it more i'm getting better with it i have it now with my iphone 15 uh pro max and so again pro you're putting the word pro in something so give us all the pro features that's all i'm saying okay so that's basically it that's basically it leave your comments down below do you see yourself getting this drone are you going to get this drone? What are your thoughts concerning it? Are you excited about it? Is it eh? Not really. Let me know. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you guys don't hear from me before then, um, I will be next week, the first week of September, I will be in Vegas again for my third year in a row at the uh, UAV commercial UAV drone expo uh, held in Las Vegas. Uh, I, I want to give a shout out to uh, the droning company, because on behalf of them, I'm going this year. Um, either way, whether it's the droning company, 
um, or Hollywood Drones. I got to credit Hollywood Drones because if it wasn't for them, Skip Fredericks and the team giving me my first opportunity back then, two years ago, I, I wouldn't have had these experiences. So shout out to Hollywood Drones, Skip Fredericks. I'll be doing some work from, for him out there. Also, um, for the droning company. So look for that. Um, follow us, follow us on our YouTube channel there, the Joni company as well on our YouTube uh, channel, uh, because we're, we're going to be putting a lot of different, uh, uh, news updates and media, uh, things that we're capturing from these different events that we're going to. So, uh, definitely support us there. And, um, yeah, again, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Hopefully I get to run into you, some of you guys out there. Listen, it's, 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 it's a free registration. Actually, I think when it comes to cost, it's like hotel stay, if, if you want to do that or, or, uh, some of the, um, uh, actual uh, seminars and stuff like that that you want to be a part of or classes that they host that that's where you got to pay but to register I, I do believe it's you know j just for the event it's free so I hope to see some of you guys out there hope to see and run into some of you guys out there and um, that's basically it y'all so I, I feel good I'm doing fine you know um, and yeah I I, I know as it pertains to DJI, we're still dealing with the potential ban situation. I'll make another video on that. I, I don't want to get into that right now. I just want to uh, bask in the momentum that DJI has right now in terms of just trying to do their best to continue to uh, crank out products to their uh, customers and to, to the many consumers who like their products and those who may want to purchase them. So, okay, I said enough again. I'm just rambling now, <laughs> but I appreciate all you guys. And until then, stay safe, keep flying, be blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out of here.